Anyway. Anyway. Mike's Daily Podcast. Do you know what I realize is uh, I can record a podcast. I've done, let's see, this is FF episode 2222. Wow, four twos. Mike's Daily Podcast. It's FF episode 2222. Yeah, that's 2222. And I can move on because there's nothing else to say about that except that's pretty cool. Four twos in a row. Let's see, what's the multiplication of that? That comes out to what, 8? 93? Something like that. Mike's Daily Podcast. 1,502. No, it's 2222. Well, that's all. Mike's two two. Daily We already know what the name of the podcast show is going to be. Yeah! The episode. The FF episode will be 22. Okay, so I can record a podcast, but what I cannot do is record a stupid voice greeting for my cell phone. It is the most arduous job, especially if you've got AT&T, which you have to hit a thousand buttons if you want to redo your message. I don't like the way that sounds. Press pound, then press star, press three, then five, then star. Let's see, how many times? (laughs) I think I redid the message about 30 times. I could not get it right. And all I said maybe 10 seconds worth of stuff. And I just scribbled down a couple of notes and it didn't sound right. I changed it. I, it it's so boring. It's so arduous. I don't want a big, long, fancy message. The best one that I know is this guy. He's really smart. And all he says is, we're experiencing a large volume of calls right now. But if you leave a message, I'll get back to you. Better yet, text me. Perfect, And I would steal it, but I don't like stealing things. It makes me feel bad, because people have stolen stuff from me. And you know how that is. You're like, ah, no. But I want to steal it. So I did something kind of similar, but not exactly. Anyway, his is the best, so there you go. And here's today's podcast picture. You could tell me what your favorite voice message, voicemail message is. Voice greeting. You can call me at 336-MM-DAILY. That's 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is in Mike Matthews. Daily is in what this podcast is. And maybe we'll put that thing right here. Call now. 336-MM-DAILY. If I remember. And then the podcast picture was taken recently on a long hike that my lovely lady friend and I did in Podcastro Valley. And that's where we're talking to you today. Podcastro Valley. And Cafe Anyway, the last place on earth. That's right, Basil. We went on this walk a couple of times, you and I. And it's on this trail that goes up behind Lake Chabot. Yes, he went to Lake Chabot many times. Basil, the most playful dog on the planet. Miss him so much. I've been looking at a lot of pictures of him lately and thinking a lot about all the fun times we had. What a great dog. And I say to you, you should get a dog. If you've never had a dog, you should get one, but realize it's going to be a lot of work and take a lot of your time. And the only reason why I don't have a dog right now is because I don't have the time. I really don't. I've got a lot of stuff I need to do this year, and I need to do some traveling once we get all this freaking, freaking, you know, COVID stuff out of the way. And I talked to my cousin yesterday, the one that says Mike's Daily Podcast at the very beginning of the show. And she's in Germany and she said it's bad over there. They've got just a couple vaccines and it's like lockdown and people can't go out. It's bad. So that could happen here again. And we could have a whole just a few months ago. Not even that. We were feeling it really bad and it could start all over again. So Take it seriously. I heard someone say it perfectly. The (laughs) anti-vaxxers, the people that are saying, "Ah, I don't want to take the vaccine. None of it is rooted in science. They say it is, but it's usually some wayward scientist that wants a lot of attention and cashes in on it. They're doing it for money's sake because they know if they step out of line, 
Oh no, they're so heroic that they stepped out of line. No, they're doing it to cash in. They're doing it to st- to stand out in the crowd and to make a name for themselves. And they know there's a bunch of people afraid to get the shot that question everything that comes from the government, question authority and all that. And they're going to have a following, instant following. And that's how the internet works. So just because somebody comes out with a book doesn't mean that they know everything. Hey... On that note, uh, I would like to tell you that do what you, I would just say, be careful. Don't walk around without a mask around a bunch of people. That is not smart. You will catch something. If you don't catch the coronavirus, you're probably going to catch something else. But the thing is, I was going to talk about an easy and artful way to uh, make your See, the thing is, we're not eating very well. We should. But as, uh, was it Jamie Oliver? No, is it John Oliver, Jamie Oliver? I always get the two mixed up. That goes, uh, I, people need to eat more he- more healthy. They have the British accent, and they say that, and it's funny. But we, we should, and like I, on Monday, made a crock pot dinner which was just entirely vegetables, which actually my system kind of revolted against because that's a whole lot of roughage. But it was delicious. So I'm trying to use meat a little bit less in my diet and trying to, to use more of the healthy stuff. But your parents told you not to play with your food. But there is something called an arranged salad where you can play with your food. It's the opposite of a tossed salad. You position the ingredients in a bowl or on a plate so that they form a nice visual pattern. You can create the salad to serve family style or as individual servings. Serving individual salads cuts down on cleanup with no serving dish to wash. Here are the tips. First, let your platter be your guide. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. First, line the platter, whatever it's shaped, with a bed of either bite-sized pieces of lettuce or larger lettuce leaves. I like to use butter lettuce and spinach, which I can only find like at Safeway. Costco, you can either get a bunch of spinach or, it, or you get this thing called the spring mix or whatever. And there's this arugula. No, it's not arugula. It's a... Uh, what's that lettuce that just tastes terrible? Shard or something? There's something in this mix that it goes bad. It tastes like you're eating mold. It's just... Ugh. So I prefer what we get here at our local supermarket that's readily available they're all over the place, Safeway. Whereas Costco, you have to drive, go out of your way, park in a large parking lot, mess with people that... Oh, wait, they don't give out samples anymore, do they? That used to be a pain. Because when they gave out samples, everyone would just stop massive traffic jam. So, then plan your pattern. Do you want to lay out long stripes of different bite-sized ingredients? Maybe some shredded carrots on either side with pretty circles of... Roma tomato rings. Roma tomatoes. Yum. Overlapping down the middle. Choose a color scheme. An all green salad can be cool and inviting, especially on hot days. In this case, limit your veggie choice to green leaves, cucumbers, green peppers, or chives. You can also mimic the colors of the rainbow or transition your ingredients from dark to light. And stick with one size. Cut vegetables into uniform pieces for the most part. Incorporating chickpeas or kidney beans, sliced or quartered hard-boiled eggs, or tuna or salmon or chicken will turn your arrangement into a one-dish meal. Surprise yourself, your friends, your family with your appetizing artistry. Playing with your food can produce salads that offer visual And gustatory delights for meatless Mondays and beyond. And, you know, they say you need more color in your diet anyways. I would agree with that. It's easy to overlook the salad dressing or a fruit dip, but they can add to the visual appeal too. For that green, the cool green salad, 
A creamy white blue cheese dressing could be the perfect sauce. A lot of people don't like blue cheese, though. It's interesting. For an arrangement built with warm colored veg- veggies such as tomatoes and carrots, a rosy Russian dressing served in a decorative ramekin. If you have a ramekin, in the center or to the side would be a visually pleasing addition to get healthier stuff into your body. And I got that from the Costco connection, yes, yet again, even though I don't ever shop there anymore. Because there is nothing... If you want to get to a Costco and you live in Podcaster Valley, you got to either go all the way to Livermore or go through the mountains and go all the way to Danville. Or hop on the freeways and head over to San Leandro and that place is a mess. And I have seen I have seen war break out at that place. People are just mean and angry. And then you can head down to Hayward. But they never have the Costco chicken that I love, the rotisserie chicken. They're always out. Fremont is a good one because that's near my job. But just going to Costco wears me out. Just walking into that building wears me out. Making the effort wears me out. That's just Mike. That and making phone greeting messages to people wears me out. I spoke with the aforementioned cousin Anki that you hear at the very beginning of the show. Mike's Daily Podcast, she says that she... It also told me yesterday, along with all this crazy stuff that's going on in Germany, uh, we were, uh, well, she lives in Hamburg, and I got to thinking about the trip I took there 12 years ago. And we had such a great time. It was the first time I met Anki. And I was looking at the pictures today, and it was, it was just fantastic. We went, saw, walked all around Hamburg. It was perfect weather. It was in April. And yeah, it's a beautiful city and I miss it. So love to go there again and see my wonderful family over there. Very historic city. Went through a lot of, well, recently, I mean, World War II is practically bombed to rubble. So it's amazing what has emerged from it. A very modern city has emerged from the ashes of Hamburg. And there's lots of fascinating uh, churches, museums, buildings of all kinds. And lots of waterways, lots of little rivers and stuff everywhere. The Elba River is there. And then there's a place called the Raperbahn. And that's a whole other... Yeah. I got told a lot of stories about it. And just kind of... Well, there's a wall. You have to go around to see it. And I I just peeked around the corner to look at it. And it was like, okay... That's interesting. Everybody in Hamburg is sort of used to it, but it's a bizarre area. And near there is where the Beatles first... Well, they used to come to Hamburg to perform the early Beatles, which was before... uh, Was it before? John Lennon was with the band. It was before Ringo. That's right. Okay, that's the end of the show. I have nothing else of interest to bring to you today, but I want to thank you so much for listening because that's important. A podcast that no one listens to, is it still a podcast? Look who's here. Hi, Mark. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How y'all doing? And it's a disgruntled field player. Tell you what, Mark. What? We didn't do that right. No, do it again. Tell you what. What? Looks like somebody said something nice about y'all. I'm Jordan. Mike Matthews going to come in with more encouragement for you a little after 7. Have a good restful evening. And as always, God willing, going to meet you back here tomorrow. Oh. Very cool. Look who else is here. Hello, Mike. I make the delicious root beer hassle right now. I don't know why when you say that, it makes me cough. It's interesting. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Drink some of my root beer right now. I'll cut you. <clears throat> Excellent. All these wonderful people. It's so great, isn't it? All these cool folks. And thank you for listening because you're a, co- a cool folk as well. And to, to you, tell all your friends. And you can call me at 336-MM daily. 3 plus 3 equals 6-MM is in Mike Matthews daily is in what this podcast has been for a couple days. 
Okay, next show it'll be the wonderful Man of Rutabaga, Valentino and Bison Bentley. Take it easy and enjoy yourself and your wonderful friends. Okay, that's a great way to end the show. The thing I have most trouble with is phone greetings and ending shows. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.